Let's play Pikmin 3 will return. This will be a direct continuation of our Pikmin 3 Let's Play, focusing on the side stories and new co-op multiplayer mode, as well as demonstrate things we never actually talked about in the original series, such as the Bingo Battle multiplayer. This will be done similarly to how we handled Captain Toad Treasure Tracker when that game got a Nintendo Switch port. Am I going to have to do this for every Wii U game I Let's Played? We'll start off this series with the first episode of Olimar's Assignment, premiering on November 20th. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, we'll gear to you. Hope you enjoyed that intro, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Gator Streams Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So, we're going to be playing through a couple of the modes in the game, basically to showcase uh, some fun new stuff in the game, and it's going to be pretty fun. And I'm mostly doing this because I'm bored and I have nothing better to do right now. <laughs> so, we're going to start off things by playing through a little bit of Olimar's assignment. Later in stream, we'll be taking care of some... Um, missing mode stuff. The big thing that I want to do today is I really want to try and see if I can get a world record on one of the missing mode stages because I know I can do it. It's just very RNG based. So yeah, that's something that I'm, that's going to be pretty fun. And I just realized I didn't have the game audio turned on, so that might actually be useful. Uh, let me know how the game audio is. Um, it's a little hard to get the balancing just right on on stream and things like that. Um, it, my OBS settings are not showing it appearing at all, so that's a little eh, it's a little weird. Not sure what's going on here. Okay, let's see if that works. I'm just going to listen to it real quick before we get started. Uh, 
Hey. Very sorry about that. He had to go take care of something. But let's get started. That's not the right thing. Eh, no. <laughs> Someday we'll have a smooth intro for my uh, stream. At some point, maybe, kind of, perhaps. Let's get into side stories. So, basically, Olimar's assignment. I haven't unlocked the other one on my own time, but Olimar's assignment is like a prequel to Pikmin 3. To Pikmin 3. We'll be playing through the first one because I feel like it. Collect fruit and nuggets. Day one, colon, flower garden. You can't forget the punctuation. Also, hello, Attacker Artist and, and uh, Pink Garmin. Thank you for coming. Uh, Attacker Artist says that you're gonna, you're cooking dinner during this, so... I hope you're having fun with dinner. Dinner is yummy. Let's probably eat something at some point today. That might be a good idea. So... Basically, how this works is uh, Olimar's assignment basically plays like the uh, missing mode from the main game. Now, personally, I was a little bit disappointed when I first heard about that. Why did I throw Louie over there? Where are the Pikmin? Get back over here! <laughs> yeah, I was a little disappointed when I first heard about that because personally, I wasn't that big of a fan of missing mode in the Wii U version, uh, which is a big reason why I never really showed it off that much during the let's play but who knows maybe with the deluxe version we might stream the missing mode content and stuff like that i don't know how many more of these streams we'll be doing but i just felt like doing this one because i like pikmin pikmin is awesome <laughs> and for those of you who are tuning in a little bit later uh we had a special announcement at the beginning of the stream the let's play will be continuing on november 20th so, we'll be starting Season 2, which will be focusing on the new content on the Switch version, which includes Olimar's assignment in its entirety, as well as the new multiplayer modes and all that good stuff. So, that's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> I've had that announcement video on my desk for, like, three months now. Um, the very last part of it, where I was talking about actually, like, what the actual series was going to focus on, that was recorded today like a last minute decision but the rest of it was basically sitting on my desk for like three months and things like that <laughs> and also if uh, you're sick of my dumb voice and you want to listen to somebody who's actually good at this game then the talker artist also did a stream as well so you can check out her twitch i don't remember if it's still on the in the stream chat in the stream link thing um, I think I, I think it reset to the default after the Minecraft stream the other day, but um, the talker artist also streamed Pikmin 3, which I haven't watched yet because I was busy with boring grown-up stuff, but I will definitely check out the VOD because the talker artist is awesome. So let's throw the Pikmin over there. We're going to have Louie bring all the stuff over here. I'm really happy they have Olimar and Louie playable in this because... I love Pikmin 2, and it kind of bummed me out that they didn't have Olimar and Louie playable in the main game. But, now they've corrected that with the Switch version and it makes me happy. So a few things I want to mention right now that you might hear me complain about from time to time. I do apologize in advance for this, but I'm kind of not that big of a fan of how they changed the controls in this game. Um, more specifically, how they did the lock-on feature. Because first of all, in the Wii U version, when you locked onto something, it will tell you the name of the thing you're locking onto, but it doesn't do that anymore on this version, which is very weird. But, why is it? Um, let me, there we go. <laughs> block the Pikmin! Louie, block the Pikmin! 
<laughs> My goodness! Okay, the lock-on controls are also kind of weird because you lock on to something and it kind of just doesn't really react the way that you'd think it should. Like, for example, you lock on to something and it's kind of a pain in the butt to turn off the lock-on feature. Uh, so, I'm still getting used to that, so that is something you're going to hear me complain about from time to time, as well as you will hear me bring that up during the um, Pikmin 3 side story videos. And I apologize if you hear background noise, my sister in the other room is being really loud, even though I told him that all that I'd be recording today. So, hopefully you can't hear them in the background, otherwise I'm not going to be happy gator. <laughs> so, we're going to have the rest of our Pikmin take care of that. Okay, they started to quiet down, so hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of the stream. <laughs> so let's now continue on this way. And we'll continue on over here. And they're being loud again! My goodness! Okay, I'm gonna pause the stream for a moment because, my goodness, this is just... Obnoxious. I accidentally turned on the trailer again. <laughs> I am very, very sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. So what was I saying a moment ago? I don't remember. <laughs> so, we'll continue on over this way. Now, something I say that I'm a little bit... That kind of threw me off a little bit when I was playing through this version. They don't have winged Pikmin in Olimar's assignment. Which kind of really threw me off because they have the rock Pikmin here, but they don't really use the winged Pikmin that much. At least not that I remember. I might be wrong about that, but I haven't played this mode as much as the other, as the main story, so that's not the right button. That's the right button. Haha. -ha. I said to whistle everybody away! Alright, now we'll move over here. The whistle is also something that's kind of upsetting me about this person. <laughs> like, Okay, I know I'm complaining about it, but I honestly really do like this game. It's just that there's like some minor things here and there that are throwing me off, which are kind of annoying me. But yeah, the whistle... They change the whistle a lot in this version. Now they make it so that when you get rid of your Pikmin squad, now they make it so that uh, um, the it gets rid of everybody but the Pikmin that you have currently selected. And that can be useful, but it also just kind of... It's also just kind of obnoxious because I, when I use the whistle, I want to get rid of the entire squad, but it, it makes me try to push it a couple times in a row, which I'm still getting used to because I've been playing Pikmin forever. But if you're new to the series, then that probably won't. That's probably not something you're not going to be noticing that much. Okay, I'm going to throw Louie over here um, so that we can switch over to him and have him return the Pikmin back over here. Uh, you're still working on that, or you're finished with that, rather. And we'll have some Pikmin work on that. I will say, I do like how the charge was changed. How they, they changed the charge by making it so that only the required amount of Pikmin needed to carry the object will actually go towards it. 
So I think this is very useful because you can go across this area and select something, lock onto it, charge, and then do the same thing for the other thing. So I think that's very useful and it's a change that I do welcome. Let's go then over there. And we'll have the Pikmin build up that stick thingy so that they can move the fruit. What do we, what can we work on over here? There's another strawberry up there. I think that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna get a pretty good rank on this, which is gonna be pretty fun. Uh, the All of Mars assignment levels are definitely a lot easier than mission mode, so if you were like me and you didn't care that much for mission mode because it was very intimidating, then um, you are you should be okay with this mode because it's a lot more simple, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. So they're carrying the strawberry over there, and they're carrying the orange, and I believe that's the last of the treasure. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so... Let's go over there and wait for the Pikmin to carry the thing. They did also kind of limit how much you can explore these levels when you're playing Olimar's Assignment. Like for example, there's a whole other half of this map that we can't explore here. I think the reason why they did that for this one specifically, um, I guess in general, is because these maps are really huge and they want to condense them into like a 10 minute level, which when you have maps like these, these maps are made to be explored across several days, so they probably limited it so that um, they they probably limited it so that you could do as much as you can within a single day, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't because I'm bad at explaining stuff. It's been a while since my last treasure hunting expedition, but I found a few choice artifacts. Good to know I haven't lost my touch. The radar has detected something juicy, so we'll investigate that tomorrow. I hope it's something valuable enough that we can finish the mission early. <laughs> Good conversation, Pancake. <laughs> Alright, so that's as much as we'll play for Olimar's assignment for now. Uh, we might go back into there later if people ask for it, but... What I'd like to do now is I'd like to try to attempt that ward record. So let's go into missing. And go into defeat bosses. And yay, now you know how much I've gotten into the story mode on my own time. Wee! I'm really dreading fighting this thing. <laughs> what do I mean? Armor to Maw Dad. I've beaten this thing in like 24 seconds. The world record right now is 18. I know the strategy to make that work, and I know I can do it. But it's heavily, heavily relied on RNG, and that's the big thing that's kind of keeping me from getting a better score on this thing. So, the Armored Maw Dad. The strategy you want to do to get a world record, you want to immediately go over towards the tail and throw your Rock Pikmin at it. And as that animation goes by, whistle the rest of the Pikmin and hope to gravy that it stays on the wall. And then you'll want to launch your Pikmin at it. Now, this is the big part where the RNG comes in. I'm not entirely sure what can trigger it, but what you want to do is that you want to have the Armored Modad go across the wall. And you don't want it to go up to the ceiling because then your Pikmin will go off the thing. You want it to go back onto the ground. Now, I know that you can do that by having your Pikmin, by like waiting for them to um, charge it. Like, don't go immediately. That was my mistake at the beginning of the thing, but I mostly just wanted to have time to discuss this. So, mission cleared, exclamation point. That's all really exciting. Victory! We got 41 seconds. That sucks. Let's try again. So you're gonna see me reset this a lot because um, one try time. I mean, you're gonna see me reset this boss fight a lot because I want to get the RNG just right on this thing so we can actually achieve our destiny. So let's go over here. Attack you. Attack you. Come on, come on. Okay, it was a little bit behind schedule, but it should be okay. And wait for it to go to 47. There we go. Launch, 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 launch. Ow! All right, reset. <laughs> and I gotta plug in my computer. 
But yeah, that's basically the strategy, and the really annoying thing is it's really obnoxious trying to do one cycle of that boss because it's very easy to actually get it to work, but it's just a matter of getting that one last pixel of health down, which can really make or break this run. And my chair is squeaking. I gotta get a new chair. Skip. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, reset. <laughs> I, I butchered the run on the tail. This is quite the exciting tale. <laughs> Funny joke! So for anybody out there who hasn't played a Pikmin game before and you're wondering um, if this is a good place to start, I would say absolutely, because this is like easily the most beginner-friendly game in the Pikmin series. Uh, no, 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 you had the animation, you had the animation, you were going there, no! No! <laughs> ah, it did the animation where I was about to go to the floor! Why didn't it keep doing that? We would have gotten it! We would have gotten it if it weren't for that! Uh, but yeah, this is the most beginner-friendly game in the Pikmin series, and it's easily the most accessible to get right now. So, I highly recommend getting this game if you haven't uh, tried the Pikmin series already, because these are really, really fun games. So I highly, highly, HIGHLY recommend them. Alright, charge. Alright, they didn't work. Quality content from Lady Gear to you. <laughs> I have thought about doing more streams like this where we do, uh, do other runs. Like, I've been really wanting to do a Tomb Raider Legend speed run. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Maybe someday. And charge! We're a little bit behind the schedule, but we should be okay! It did it again! It did it again! Ah, no! It did it again! Okay. What am I doing wrong right there? Because it's doing the animation, but then it doesn't do the thing where it, it dies. It's supposed to be dead. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Whew, okay. It's on the thing, it's on the thing, it's on the thing, it's on the thing. Go, 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 Are you kidding me? That would have been perfect! That would have been perfect! Okay, I think my problem is that I'm rushing too many Pikmin on and at once, so what I might do now is try and wait a bit before swarming the rest of the Pikmin on there. That might be a good strategy. I, re I realize that it's probably not the best strategy in the world to wait when you're trying to do a perfect run, but hopefully we'll be able to make this work. Okay, I'm going to reset this run because it walked around way too long. I should have a counter for every time for how often this takes me. If we do another run like this, then yeah, I'll, I'll have a counter on the screen. Whew, we can do this. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. That... <laughs> that was a failure and a half. Is that a phrase people say? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Throw the Pikmin! Okie dokie. Throw the Pikmin! Okay, you were running around for a little bit too long, but uh, hopefully we can still make this work. I'm just going to read the chat for a moment. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Big uh, Pan Garment says Pikmin 3 on Wii U was her first Pikmin game. Takes a drink every time Gator resets. Uh, this is where Gator's brain fully fries. If my brain didn't... Hello, Night Taco. <laughs> if my brain didn't fry from Mummy and Mummy's Forever during the verses, nothing will fry it. <laughs> Expert strat. Upload this part of the stream and have a counter then. Hopefully we can still make this work. Things said before disaster. What are you talking about? Nothing disastrous ever happens. <laughs> By the way, I like how the hint bubble on the corner talks about how to unlock this thing when we had to do that thing to be able to see that bubble in the first place. It reminds me of this some, something that's really funny. So, um, on the Jurassic World Blu-ray, there's an extra features thing. And at the end of one of the extra features, it's a on-screen thingy saying, Jurassic World Blu-ray now available on Blu-ray. And it's like... I would have had to have bought that Blu-ray to see that advertisement. You're advertising something that I already bought. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay, it's doing the thing where it doesn't go on the wall. So, reset. That's a song in Okami that got cut in every version except the PS2 version for some reason. Dude, I want to track down a copy of the PS2 version of Okami because I have like, I already have like two copies of the game. Well, actually, no, I don't anymore. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say that I have the Wii and Switch version, but I actually gave the Wii version to my girlfriend for a birthday present. She's like super into Japanese things, so I figured it would be a game that she'd like. Alright, then let's go over here. Attack you, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, get them. Oh, that's it. Hope you're okay with watching this cutscene over and over again. <laughs> Thank goodness that skipping cutscenes is a thing, because that's always fun. Alright, so we'll continue on for like a few more attempts and then, um, and like. I don't know, like five or ten minutes or so, we'll call it quits and try again another day. So, um, let me know in the stream chat. What would you like to see us play in Pikmin 3 after we are after we give up on the Armored Mod Dad? Because I'd be happy to show off the story mode. I'd be happy to demonstrate more of Olimar's assignment. Bingo Battle would be a little bit tougher to do because that's multiplayer only. You son of a profanity. <laughs> armored Ma Dad. But where's the Armored Ma Mom? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Come on, come on. Come on. Alright. We're getting into a good pattern with that. We're getting into a good pattern with that. I say that and it doesn't go on the wall. Why won't you go on the wall? That's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of walls, um, so my sister and I, we have an ongoing argument over this one line in the movie Deadpool um, because uh, there's a part where uh, Deadpool breaks the fourth wall during a flashback and he's all like, Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. <laughs> so we have an argu ongoing argument over whether or not that should actually equal 16 or 8 walls. Because, like, I think the logic behind that joke is that it's a fourth wall break inside of a fourth wall break, so it's four cubed, which would be 16. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's a that's a fun thing. Is my math right on that? I think it is. Yeah, it's right. It is a pixel of health! Okay, that's the big thing that drives me crazy trying to do this stupid run, is that it has a pixel of health and there's no good reason why it should stop, but then it does, and it drives me crazy.
Okay, we messed up on that, so we'll try again. Also, I'm getting hungry, and I have a muffin on my desk, but, okay, I have this bad habit where, like, I'll have food in my area, like, I'll have food in my office, but I just won't eat it, and just leaves it, leave it there while I'm working, and I kind of forget to eat it and stuff. Like, I'm obviously not going to eat it on stream, because chewing a muffin, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be good commentary. Do they have an ASMR thing for that? I know they have ASMR things for a bunch of other stuff, but I don't know if they have that for, like, eating muffins or anything. Eh, we we waited too long for that. That was my bad. Looking at the stream cheat. Uh, Takara just says, to get the record of 22 seconds, that I guide, you have to beat it in one cycle before it goes up the ceiling. Um... That's what I'm trying to do, um, the strat- I'll explain the strategy again. So, it's mostly RNG based. Like, a big chunk of this run to get the perfect run of 18 seconds, it's- it's RNG. And it's a nightmare. Um, basically what you need to do is, you need to immediately go for the tail. Um, and then if you're able to get- to be destroyed, make it go immediately up against a wall, and then Wait until it's at 47, and then have your Pikmin Swarm go against it. Now, the RNG, where the RNG comes in is the fact that it has to go back to the ground rather than on the on the, the ceiling. Because if it goes to the floor, then um, you can swarm more Pikmin on there and get rid of that last chunk of health. But if it goes back to the ceiling, then you have to wait around for a bit, and that destroys the run. So that big chunk right there, that's the... RNG thingy that drives me crazy about this thing. It's doable, it's just frustrating. And I already messed up the run. Uh, my, I think my perfect run is like 24 seconds, so uh, you're a little bit faster than me, Kai. <laughs> uh, Taku, when it pauses for a second, Peggy says, I'm enjoying watching you go insane. I think you're saying too fast. Uh, I was going to say bingo battle because of a fair boat, it's a story instead. Uh, Swarm is good, but don't think it goes on the wall that quickly. Four times four, sixteen. So I'm not going to show you. Swarm. That's what happened to me. So I just <laughs> Sorry, I'm catching up on stream on the stream chat. <laughs> Intense muffin eating. Your fans need a ASMR. It's in demand. <laughs> Someone on Twitter said the 21 seconds was their record. Alright, so... I've been thinking about this for a bit. During my last play of the first Pikmin game, I did a thing where I uploaded my challenge... I uploaded my runs of challenge mode, and I encouraged my viewers to play alongside and upload video responses uh, to that, because back then, video responses were still a thing. Um, but... Um, this was in a time when I had, like, 20 subscribers and nobody responded, so I've been kind of not wanting to do that idea ever again. But I've been thinking, should we try that again for Pikmin 3 side stories? Because I never really went too deep into missing mode. Like, I did one video on each mode, but, and covered a different stage for each mode, but I never really went too deep into it. So... If I uploaded videos or recovered every level in Mizzen Mode, and uh, I asked uh, people to um, upload, to share their times um, on that level with me, would that be something you guys would be interested in? Because I kind of don't want to do that unless people are interested in it, because Mizzen Mode, um, I'm not quite sure if that's something that I'd want to do. But if there's people out there who would want to do it, then yeah, I definitely would want to try. Because I think that would be a fun thing we could do it together as a community. I have, ha have had the idea um, to... I want to do an idea where I'd have an entire Let's Play built around community input. Um, and I have had a few ideas here and there. 
Um, but nothing's ever really worked out in the end, because, um, like, for one reason or another, the game itself just doesn't work out. Um, like, if you want one big example that I actually revealed publicly earlier this year, um, I wanted to do a Let's Play We Fit You. Uh, the idea was that um, my videos would act as a like, sort of workout guide, and uh, um, I'd encourage people to upload their um, scores as well so that we can build a healthy community. In the end, I decided against it because, um, the, for one, I had a hard time figuring out a good end goal for the Let's Play, um, like what would make a satisfying finale for the series, and what would be, and um, would people even play alongside it because We Fit You is kind of an obscure game nowadays. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I could find another game that would work with. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here to catch up on stream chat. Stream chat's usually not this fast. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate this. <laughs> Gator ASMR. <laughs> yeah, Tagoras is like, uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, Vader responses, they used to be a way you could, um, they were like YouTube comments, but in video form. Um, so like, imagine on Twitter how you post a GIF of something and then somebody replies to you with another GIF. It's basically like that before Vol videos. They deleted this feature because YouTube is stupid. <laughs> uh, Tucker just says, I'm not sure if I'll upload it to YouTube, but maybe on Twitter. That'd be fun too. Um, we could ask Ethan and Steven to participate. Oh, they do like Big Ben. I'm getting really excited for this idea. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, the funny thing about We Fit You is that I actually have a free copy. Um, they did a thing where um, they had a free version of We Fit You available for a limited time. Um... I remember there was some kind of limitation with it. I don't remember what it is, though. And later, eventually down the line, they made it so that everybody who had the free version got the full game anyway. Um, I think the big thing was that if you had a copy of the pedometer thingy that would usually come bundled with it, you get the free game. So, yeah. We Fit You was a lot of fun, I gotta say. That's, like, one of my favorite... Um, that's, like, one of my favorite early Wii U games. Like, it's definitely not top 10 material or anything like that, and there's definitely better fitness games out there. But, it was honestly a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me. So, during the Smash roster trivia video, there's a clip I recorded of We Fit You. Um, it's during the segment where it's the We Fit Trainer trivia, and uh, it's discussing the history of Uhu Island. So... <laughs> Um, I, like, actually did, like, a physical workout for that because it was the island tour thingy, so I ran around for a bit. So, um, do I want to finish the story? I don't know if I want to, but, uh, uh so, with that, we had, uh, uh, my sweat going into the video, and at one point when I was editing the video, I got a paper cut, so I got my sweat and blood, and uh, I'd cry tears of joy when the video was finally finished because it took months to edit. So I literally put my um, blood, sweat, and tears into that video. <laughs> that one's a kind of interesting one because I, um, I don't think we'll ever be able to retop it in terms of scale. Like, we might do more crossover gaming galleries in the future where we have a bunch of people together. But I don't think we'll ever have like a topic that big um that could ever like be bigger than that maybe a few years down the line if we make another video like it i don't know because i can't see the future i'm not shulk i wish i was shulk that'd be awesome <laughs> all right so here you come on come on come on come on, come on. Okay, you're going that way instead. 
I've, I've seen that on some videos that it's usually a good idea to stand right next to the armored mod dad because that can sometimes help. We were too late moving the thing. Ugh. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Pancake says you were looking forward to that little LP. Um, a dark artist says, hey, maybe with Ring Fit Adventure. Maybe someday. I really want the game too, but I don't have it yet. Um, the funny thing is, Ring Fit Adventure is like one of the very few Switch games out there that are physical only. Um, and it makes a little sense because you kind of need the ring, the ring con with it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of something that's pretty interesting. Ring Fit Adventure, I gotta say, that game is a lot of fun. <laughs> like, it's definitely a very intense workout. Um, but it is so much fun. It's really worth it. And I absolutely love the rhythm game that they added in an update. It's really, really fun. They add, like, music from Splatoon and Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey and things like that. I don't know if they've added any more since then. I know that they that's what they did when they first did the update. Okay, we're gonna try like two more times and then we're gonna call it quits on this run and continue with other stuff. Because we've been at this set for a little while and I'm kind of getting bored of this. <laughs> I don't have a very long attention span. Okay, that one doesn't count. <laughs> that one doesn't count. Now it's two more attempts. I feel like I'm playing Smash Brothers all of a sudden, because whenever I play Smash Brothers, I'm all like, okay, one more match. And then three hours later, the sun's coming back up, and it was like, one more match! Alright, that's it. Okay, what the heck was that? I was mashing the A button and it wasn't doing anything. That one doesn't count either. Defeat bosses, armored modad. Okay, this is the real last attempt. Okay, that's good. Go to the wall, go to the wall, and stay right there. Stay right there. All right, come on, 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 come on! We can do this! We can do this! Yes, 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 no! <laughs> Dang it! Gosh darn it all to the the pizza planet! <laughs> One more attempt. <laughs> that was a really, really good run. I don't know what happened. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. That one doesn't count. We bumped into the thing and it knocked us back. Red Pikmin are fewest warriors that are immune to fire. Or are they? I did the exact same thing twice. You know what? We're just gonna stick with this one. Get back here. Get back here. Okay, no matter what, we're gonna finish this round. I don't care if we completely butcher it. We're gonna finish this round. Okay, I think I might know what I'm doing wrong. I noticed some I know something about that round, so Um the Rock Pikmin, they don't latch on to the armored maw dad. The red Pikmin do. So I think what I might do with this round is swarm the red Pikmin first. Because I've been doing that with the Rock Pikmin because that's just been the way that they were cycling around. So I think I'm gonna go with reds first. Alright, let's do this. See that coming on. That doesn't count. <laughs> I 
This is the real last attempt. Real last attempt. I mean it this time, I swear. Okay. Get out of the way of the giant pinchy things so we don't get knocked back. Throw the rock Pikmin at the tail. Break the thing. Wait for it to go on the wall. Cycle to reds. And then wait for 47. And then swarm. Wait a second. And then rock. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! You have a pixel of health left! You had like a pixel of health left! Uh, we'll get this someday. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna call it quits for uh, this run. We've been at it for a little while, so yeah, we're gonna try this. We'll probably try this again a little bit later in the stream once I've once I get a good break from that because I'm kind of sick of this boss fight. Hello, Beeswax. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a nice day. Hope you're getting plenty of water. And if you like eggnog, hope you're drinking plenty of that too. I had eggnog earlier today, but now it's gone and I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to play a little bit of the story mode. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it's played in this area. Exploration Day 10. So, a lot of people in the chat, what's your record for beating the the main story? I think my record is 21. I think... Yeah, the last play ended on day 21. I think that's my record. I've heard some people say they've gotten it done faster. So that's always pretty nice. Hey, it's raining now. All right, so let's see what we can do today. Uh, we can't get that because that requires a pigment we don't have yet. Uh, we can go over here. That'd require a lot of winged pigment, though. So let's start off with that. Let's get a bunch of winged pigment. Okay, we're gonna throw the those captains over there. That right there is an iridescent uh, flint beetle. Those could be pretty great for getting nectar and things like that. I I like rarely ever go after them because I send uh, because I spend so much time trying to get them that it's just really not that worth it in the end. Like they are definitely worth it because they make your they make your Pikmin go into flowers and things like that. Get over here, winged Pikmin! Get over here! Get over here! Here's a cute little winged Pikmin. Hey, I gotta say. The winged Pikmin are by far my favorite type in the entire series. Because they're just so cute. <laughs> they're so cute and they're incredibly useful and they're not overpowered. Because you'd think that a flying Pikmin would be way too OP, but that's actually not the case. Yeah! We destroy that evil spider thingy. So that's what I meant earlier when I said I really like the... Um, how fast the charge is, because you can just like go through an area, lock onto something, charge, lock onto something else, charge, and it's like really, really fast and smooth and really cool. So okay, you're going this row, so that's going to be safe. So now what we'll be doing is that I'm going to be taking this group of winged Pikmin back over to the onion and exchanging them for some other Pikmin we can use. Now I probably could have. Um, set it up so that we could have had another captain go off and do something else while we were walking over there. Um, but I don't want to complicate things too much so that people can follow along with the video. Alright. 
Okay, we'll return all of you. And what can we do over here? Now, there's not much that's stopping us from going to the next story objective, but I kind of don't want to do that right now because that um, that's a spoiler, so I don't want to do that. Um, there's a treasure over here. That's, that's a pretty fun boss. Uh, there's another one over here. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. So I'll wait for all those to go back in there. And then go and do this. Alright, so. We'll throw that guy over there. Well, Brittany is... No, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of everybody. Except for the yellows. And then we'll have you go that way. And then... We'll have Brittany go off this way, and then when um, we feel like it, Charlie will take we'll take control of Charlie for a moment and have him bring the rest of the Pikmin back towards us. So basically what I'm doing is that there's a breakable wall over here that we can bomb and things like that. Um, we're going to want to get some bomb rocks for that. Uh, we'll have a few Pikmin go after this so they can work on uh, berry potions throughout the day. Um, let's move into a safe spot. I think this area is pretty good. So we'll switch over to you. We'll have the um, yellows go pick up the bombs. We'll have you head over here so that... Uh, where's Brittany? Brittany's over here. We'll have you go over this way so that Brittany can, we can meet up with Brittany and things like that. And then Charlie wants this last group of big money. Hey! We got an achievement thingy! Yay! <laughs> okay, what's in this? I'm curious. <laughs> I gotta say, I love the voice. I love the voice of the winged Pikmin. They're just so cute. Like probably my favorite voice clip of any Pikmin ever. Um, it's when a winged Pikmin picks something up. They are like, oopsie. So cute. All right, so we got Alf over here. Um, once more berries are <laughs> the red pigments doing the funny post. Um, as you saw right there, once there's more berries available, the red pigment. Uh, do we need that many pigment doing that? Uh, we can have we can bring the rest of the reds back over here. Uh, Brittany's up there. So now we'll go this way. Thankfully, the winged Pikmin, they could just fly over towards us so they don't have to wait for the next little pad thingy. Get back over here! Get back over here! Get back over here! There we go. <laughs> uh, there's some enemies in this one, so don't fight that unless you want to bring back um, enemy corpses for more Pikmin. I don't remember how many bombs are required to, to dig down a wall. So let's take care of that. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Okay, so now what I want to do, and this is going to be incredibly morbid. Uh, controller. Controller. There we go. <laughs> Man, my controller has been really weird. It's kind of like taking a moment to actually respond with buttons and things like that. It's the buttons that are getting messed up with this controller, but not the thumbsticks. That's usually not the case, but okay. And boom! Ha ha! Defeat three indigenous creatures with a single bomb rock. Alright, we're gonna have the. We're gonna take care of that. Okay, charging is. I'm being a little bit weird. Hello, random person playing. Wait. Wait, 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 that person was playing Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Is that game out yet? What? Hold on! Hold on a second. Let me go into my... I want to double check this. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> They're playing the demo version, never mind. 
All I saw was Cyber Warriors Age of Calamity, and I thought that they had an early copy or something like that, and they didn't, oh, and, uh, lock on, there we go. Okay, everything's working now. Uh, let, the thing about the winged Pikmin, though, that you want to keep in mind when you're using them, the thing with the winged Pikmin is that they'll... They're not really that great for having, like, multiple types of Pikmin carrying them. So, if you have Pikmin carrying stuff, it's usually a good idea to either have all winged Pikmin or none at all. Because it seems like they go by a lot faster if you only have one or the other. Because some of them are going to be flying and some of them aren't. Now, over here, we're going to be introduced to a familiar face if you played the Pikmin games. The Barring Stargate. The burning Snargrid's head is its weak point. Watch for it to pop out and then start attacking. For anybody who feels intimidated fighting this thing, let me tell you, you guys have it easy. In the first Pikmin game, we had to fight three of these things. Like there was this one treasure thing where there are three of them in the same area. And go 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 go. Yeah, in the first Pikmin game, there was an area where you had to fight three of those thingies to get a treasure chest. Not a treasure chest, a regular treasure thingy. Now, it wasn't necessarily a, a required to fight all three of them, but it was kind of a pain because the route to get there, there were a bunch of, there are two of these in the way and there's only really one that you actually had to fight. So, yeah, that's the thing that was annoying. So we'll carry that and... How many do you need for that? Ten. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's have the wing Pikmin and then the rest be yellows. I know I said earlier. Hey! Hey! I want the wing Pikmin to get that. There we go. Now, something really funny that I love doing. Uh, if you go into this menu and then go into Copad, I love watching them carry the corpse off in a first-person perspective. <laughs> it's really funny. And something really cool about this game that I didn't know was a thing until the Switch version came out. I don't know if this is a new feature or anything like that, but something really cool is when you're using the Go Here feature, if you go back into the Copad camera, we get to explore this area in a first-person perspective! I never knew this was a thing! Now again, I don't know if this is a new feature for the Switch version, but... Oh, it's just so cool! Like, we already know this is a tiny world, but we really get to see the scale of it in this perspective. It's just so cool. Now I will say, this definitely doesn't do any favors for the skyboxes in this game, because as we can see, the skybox is very pixelated and things like that. Like, we can very clearly tell this area is a dome, but... Like, man, the rest of it is just really, really cool. Except for that reared wall of grass. My, that that didn't look good. But the rest of the game looks good. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll take care of that. Pluck the pigment. And we only have, like, half the day left, and I don't know if there's anything else we can do. I don't know. If, I don't think there is. Uh, there is this orange, but we don't have the Pikmin required for that. What else can we do? Mm, do, 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 do? That also requires a Pikmin we don't have. Yeah, the only thing else, else we can do is fight the boss, but we don't have the Pikmin. We don't. We have the Pikmin for that, but it's a spoiler boss. All right, let's pause the game for a moment and. I'm going to ask you, do you care if we fight that boss right now? Because it is a bit of a spoiler thingy, but... I don't know, maybe you all, maybe you all have already played the game already. <laughs> uh, Tucker Artist says, uh, This has been a really fun stream, even though I've mostly been a lurker. I really do appreciate you all coming to watch, even if you're not commenting that much. I really do appreciate it. So, also, um, as I um, said earlier in the stream, um, the Tucker Artist had also done a Pikmin stream earlier today as well, so the VOD of that's on her Twitch channel, and I believe she'll be uploading um, it onto YouTube in a couple days or so. So, look forward to that, because a Tucker Artist is awesome. 
Uh, Pancake says you don't care. You've played the game already. Uh, Beeswax uh, says bye. Bye, Beeswax. Thank you for coming. All right, so... Yeah, let's just do the boss fight. <laughs> Uh, do we have all the other captains with us? We do. So let's throw Alf over here. Then you'll go over here and reunite the squad. I've arrived. So what now? Alright, so... I think we'll leave the rest of the reds to work on that thing. Well, actually... Mm, Okay, I was gonna go with the squad that we already have, but the thing is, this boss is really designed with the winged Pikmin in mind. So, I think that's where we're gonna go back, and then we'll exchange them all for pinks. So, let's go this way. And wait for it to come back over here. It we spin a spin a. Let's put them all back, and then we can call the what the blue the um the pink pigment back when they're back over here and things like that. That gave us a lot of pink pigment. <laughs> over here and then we'll pluck the rest of the Pikmin and then all of them will become pink. Pink is the most manly color in the universe. It did actually, it was actually considered pink, uh, pink was actually considered a manly color for a long time um, because it's a shade of red and it used to be the common belief that anything that was a shade of red was like a masculine color but that's not the case anymore. But that's pretty interesting. Probably, kind of, perhaps. All right, let's go onwards. I will use the go here future and be in the first person perspective, but the thing is that only works in areas you've already explored. So we'll go this way. Wait, is there anything in here? There's a data file over there. What's up with the data file? All right, I'll investigate. <laughs> I don't remember this one. My daughter is growing up so fast. Where did she get the idea that I don't live with them anymore? Then again, I'm I'm worried that I'm starting to forget my street address. <laughs> That's funny. So, I guess Olimar's having a bit of a memory problem. I don't remember that data file being a thing. Was that a new one? Alright, so we'll have you go back up there. I don't think we'll have enough time today to finish the boss, but we can at least get it started. I think I can at least defeat it, but the bigger thing I'm concerned about right now is whether or not we'll be able to actually get all the stuff back to the thing. And if that's not the case, then that means we're going to pretty much waste an entire day to get that stuff back over here. So I really hope that's not the case. But anyway, it's going to be boss fight time. So the Scornet Maestro go through the gaps in the Scornets and attack with winged Pikmin. Now, this is a really cool boss fight. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for this one. I will charge the Pikmin. Um, the, now, the unfortunate thing is, is that... Um, you have to be careful, because if you try going for it immediately, then it's not going to be a good strategy. So basically what you want to do is that you want to wait for the flies to go away, avoid the attack, and then swarm! I said swarm! Yeah, remember that time that I said that the charge isn't too great because sometimes it... Um, okay. Like, the big thing that I don't like about the charge in this game is if uh, the... If Brittany, for example, is the currently selected thing you can throw, then why doesn't it just look for the next Pikmin you can throw? Why does it... You can't even charge a Captain forward. I don't understand why they make that an option. It's just a little weird. 
Okay. Go that way. Avoid the bad guys. And go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that was easy. Is this game just super easy now, or am I actually good at this game for once? <laughs> Captain Olimar. He's not moving at all. He's dead! Olimar is dead! Okay. We'll go. Oh, lock onto the fruit. There we go. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun with the charging controls. <laughs> this is fun with the charging controls! Whee! Uh, I don't think we have enough Wing Pikmin to carry all this back. Oh well. Uh, let's bring you with this. Oh, this poor red. We have Steve with us! Steve! So, um, one thing I've been thinking about, um, I don't know if I'm going to go through with this, but I've been thinking that if I ever do, like, another Pikmin Let's Play or anything like that, I think it would be fun to, like, give the Pikmin types nicknames. Because um, in my Let's Play of the first game, I gave each individual Pikmin a name, and that took forever to edit. Um, and with Pikmin 3, I just kind of didn't do that at all because it took so long to edit. But I think if I ever do another game, that I might just give, like, the types of Pikmin nicknames. Like, I obviously wouldn't name the Pikmin Steve because I just don't I don't want to copy Drunk Garner directly. But something fun, a fun kind of name like that. So, we'll go over this way. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, the characters kind of do like a 180 when they're doing sudden turns and things like that, and it can lead to some pretty funny results, like Brittany suddenly being in the camera right there. And the right, then. So now it's just mostly a matter of waiting for the uh, stuff to get back over here. I'm honestly surprised that we didn't lose a single Pikmin during that, because I usually lose, like, at least a few to that boss. I'm not the best at fighting that one, but <laughs> it it's pretty, it's, it was, I'm pretty happy with how that run turned out. I mean, just look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> look at that stream of work, and that's actually kind of creepy seeing the Lifeless corpse being dragged like that. That's really creepy. Well, <laughs> oh, the the thing bumped the camera or something like that. But anyway, yeah, this reminds me. Uh, this makes me think of um, Salmon Run in Splatoon. How um, if you have, if you have like a good team with you, then you can get like a good stream of um, power eggs getting heading towards the. Basket and things like that. This is making me think of that. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get a better camera angle on all that good stuff. Yeah, this is a really good angle right here. And now the thing ruined it. Okay, this right here, the way that it automatically zooms the copad screen to the TV. Why couldn't you do this on Wii U? Like, I understand that you want to be cool and all, and that you want to have something extra on the gamepad, but my goodness. For my Let's Play, how I handled that was I had a camera pointing at the gamepad screen whenever I wanted to show something on there that I couldn't easily get a Miiverse screenshot of. Now, if I was doing that, the Wii U version nowadays, I would have a better workaround around this because I could just zoom in the footage. I couldn't do that back then, but it's... why couldn't this have just been on the TV before? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did Charlie say that he'd slap him? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I'm sure all Pikmin fans want to slap Louie because of reasons that I won't spoil and things like that. Uh, Pancake says, uh, boss has always been easy. Will they make it is the question. 
Uh, dinner's here, gotta go. Bye. Bye, Pancake. Thank you for coming. Man, this has been a really fun stream. <laughs> I, I miss recording Pikmin. I really, really do. And I'm really excited to start the uh, Pikmin side story video soon. Um, like I said, like the reveal during the announcement at the beginning of the stream, um, Pikmin 3 side stories will premiere on the 20th. So that's going to be pretty fun. My current mindset is that... Wait. All right. I just noticed something. <laughs> I just noticed something. This is so cool. I'm going to get easily distracted by this. So, moving the Joy-Con in a circle makes the little blue bar thingies on the side turn. I'm going to get so easily distracted by that. <laughs> uh, I'm very easily amused. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, the pick and the re um, Is that the last of the... Wow, we're actually going to make it. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Pikmin 3 Side Stories is going to be uploaded every Friday. Um, the first four episodes have already been recorded, as well as the Bingo Battle episode. Um, we didn't intend on recording more than one Bingo Battle video, but it looks like we're going to end up doing three. So that's going to be pretty fun. Um, oh, we only have nine seconds left. So let's get, the, let's get these Pikmin back in our squad. Okay, this is the most nerve-wracking part of the game, because they're in the transition area, so they're not going to be affected until they leave. And I'm really nervous that... Okay, never mind. I was really nervous that one of them was going to slip through the cracks and get left behind. Um, On this playthrough, I wasn't paying attention to how many Pikmin were in my squad at one point, and I finished everything that I wanted to do on that day, so I, left, I finished the day early. And I ended up losing, like, I don't know, like, 30 Pikmin or something like that. I ended up losing, like, 30 Pikmin on that day. And normally I would have reset, but I had such a good run on that day that I decided, you know what, screw it, we'll just continue. And we'll live eventually, probably, perhaps. <laughs> but, dude, I miss recording Pikmin. Maybe someday we'll get another chance. New fruit! Yeah! And this right here, I'm about to show you the best enhancement that they did for this that easily justifies it being a full price game. First of all, this fruit was modeled in 2013, and it's still the best looking fruit in video game history ever. <laughs> no fruit will ever look better than that. You got 20 types of fruit, nicely done. We managed to gather quite a bit of fruit on this planet. We'll have enough to we'll have enough to save Kopai soon, but not yet. Let's go get some more. But yeah, this right here is easily the best change in the game because when you're trying to fast forward this in the Wii U version, the frame rate died. They fixed the frame rate when you're fast forwarding it in this version, and it's just so pleasant to see. I do wish that there was a way you can completely skip it, but fixing the frame rate when it's being sped up is, it's a good trade-off. Good, we still have plenty of juice left. Alright, not too bad. I like, we have, I like how we have more winged Pikmin than anything else. We have way more winged Pikmin than we'll ever need. Um, but, oh, um, wow, that was way more than 30. We have 80 lost total to Sunset. Wait, 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 what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was misreading it. I thought it said that I lost four Pikmin to the Sunset, but no, that's just over the course of the entire day. Uh, what achievements do we have? Uh, <laughs> New Horizons. That's an Animal Crossing game. Um, we're missing a few. We're missing Fruit Ballad, um, the Battle Thingies, Power Surge, Shark on blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're missing a few. I don't think I'm going to try to get every single one of them because I don't particularly care that much to do that. But, you know, it's making something. 
And something else is pretty fun is that we can also see a full replay of the entire um, day. So if we messed up on something, we can um, do something better. Like this right here, I gotta say. I love this in particular because it's really fun seeing this huge line of Pikmin just going together. It's just so fun. But I think that's gonna be enough. We finally managed to rescue Captain Omar, but his suit has put him in a state of deep sleep. All we can do is wait for him to wake up. No sign of the cosmic drive key either. I guess we'll use this time to relax for a bit and get some rest. Not the best day. What are you talking about? We had an amazing day! I mean, I have a muffin on my desk. Any day with a muffin is amazing! Later that night, dot dot dot. Olimar hasn't woken up since we brought him aboard. Hey, I know that spacesuit. It puts you in a deep sleep if you're experiencing any big surprises. I missed an entire surprise birthday party once because of those suits. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> Would you mind keeping it down? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We need a game to tell us where the cosmic drive key is. And in order for him to do that, we need to wake him up on his own. Let me try slapping him! No, no, trust me. We can't do anything once that suit kicks in. We just need to keep an eye on him. I like how two of them have now suggested slapping him. <laughs> the next morning, da da dot. You cannot forget the dot dot dots. Dot dot dots are important. And we're going to skip that so we don't see too much story stuff. So... Yeah, we're gonna head to the title screen right now. Um, the game already saved, so we're good. And I think that's gonna be a good place to call quits for tonight's stream. So, uh, I do apologize for this being last minute. Um, I just got bored earlier today and I just wanted an excuse to record this game. <laughs> um, I already recorded as much as I can get into with all Mars assignment, because I can't record the rest until I beat the game myself. Um, but, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's uh, Gator stream, so thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned to the channel for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will be continuing. I'm going to need another day or two to get the next video finished because, uh, long story short, I'm doing a lot of editing projects for my theater class and I got to focus on that. Um, but yeah, Breath of the Wild Inspire 2 will continue on the channel. Splatoon 2's Platfest will continue when, on a when it's done basis. Um, also, stay tuned to the channel for the 300 subscriber special coming up pretty soon, which is going to be really exciting. And we may do another Gator stream this weekend. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. The trailer announcing Pikmin 3 side stories will be uploaded as a separate video tomorrow. So that's going to be pretty fun. Just look forward to that. And until next time, Lady Gary to you. Oh yeah.